Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome if this is your first time here. Today I am doing a um, little haul thing. Uh, if this is your first time here, if you want to go ahead and subscribe and comment and like and share and all that good stuff, I could definitely use the help. Um, uh, it is, what's today, like the 8th, the 9th of September? It's the 9th of September. Um, we're still dealing with the Hurricane Ida aftermath, which uh, today I think they started deliveries down here again. And I've had a package um, that's been stuck in Kentucky uh, for about two weeks now. So <laughs> I was, I, it's still not here. Not going to get into it. I don't think it's the company's fault. It's just the weather. But I needed stuff to continue working on my job. So I went to um, Hobby Lobby and Michael's and Walmart and... I just need to get away from life for a while, so, you know. So, I went to Walmart first, just because I was waiting for Hobby Lobby to open, and I got this blue, this is San Diego Navy, the hometown yarns. We used this the other night, I was doing a live stream, and I crocheted this ball while we were just kind of hanging out. Um, I thought these would go good together, and then at Michael's I found like seven more that would go good with this, so we'll see what we get. So we left Walmart and went to... Dollar Tree. I don't think I got any, like, stuff there except for nasal spray and something else. I don't know. Um, let's see. Oh. Alright. I, the play, the, I'm waiting on vinyl from a website that I've never ordered from before. And not sure that I will again. Just because it took a while for them to, if I order something, maybe it's just me because of how I run my business. When I order from you on Monday, I want it in the mail by Tuesday. I mean, I've already had somebody order from me on Monday, and it's been in the mail later that day. It's been in the mail like three hours later. Not currently, because we don't have shipping right now, but you know. Um, so I needed some vinyl. So I got, what is this one? This is dark brown. But these are removable. I don't know why I got the removable, but it's probably all they had. Uh, these are Paper Studio. They were 50% off, so this one was $350. No, this one was $450. Uh, $450 and $5. So, yeah, just some vinyl for some signs for the sign making club. If you haven't signed up, uh, where's the where's November spot? No, this is October sign. They're not done. They still look a little rough, but this is where we're at right now. And I show you the other ones, but they're already packed up, waiting to be shipped. Um, got another pie crust mold because when I use this one, it's out of commission for a while until I can take the clay out of it. So I got another one, and I can hopefully just turn these out around the clock. Christmas ribbon. I got this one because I wanted to get it last time and I didn't. And I was like, why did I just not get that? I should just get it. So I got it. Oh, these were 40% off. So this one was $6. And it's $6 for 30 feet, 10 yards. I don't think that's bad. This one is... This one was $12 for 30 feet. And I wanted this one um, just because I like a damask. And I like that it's centered. But I didn't get it the last time I was there. I don't know why. I think I just had a lot of stuff and I was like, oh, like, oh you kind of going overboard now. Um, I got a gold mesh to go with. Cause, yo, I don't order gold mesh online because every time I do, I'm disappointed in the tone of gold. So I got that gold mesh to go with. This also looks like Hobby Lobby. Yeah, yeah, like a rich color, rich, rich toned. Got another roll of this because I used it, and I'd like to use it again. <clears throat> I got a set of uh, the Paper Studio cutting mats because they were on sale. There's um. <clears throat> There's two of them in here for $7.50. I, I, I don't buy the Cricut stuff because it's 
so expensive. Um, and my Cricut mat I'm using now is like, hey, you can't use me forever. And I'm like, just, oh, come on, let me. I picked up some paper for... This black and white stripe is for the uh, sign of the month club for... Um, November? Yes, because that'll be the Christmas sign. And I got some cardstock, glitter cards, but this is so thick. Does this have a GSM on it? No, this is th I got this to make some stuff for my um, tree. I got the purple, oh, the purple, the gold, and the pink. And these were $1.99, but they were, they were, are they 50% off? So yeah, each one was a dollar. I think I got six, and I think I got six of these, or five of these, or something. Yeah, and these were 70 cents, so they're 35 cents each. If you have a need to open a stock paper, Hobby Lobby's the place to go, because this, at, at this, like, stripe, at Michael's, was, I think I saw something very similar for, like, $1.99. No, ma'am. We're not playing that game. Not today, Satan. Um, I got some of these acrylic ornaments, which I really want. Oh, I forgot I got so much stuff. Wow. Okay. Oh, I got a candle, too. Okay, I got these acrylic ornaments because I wanted to do something on Patreon. And... How many in here? There's eight in here. They're three and a half inches, and they are, um... Acrylic. They were four ninety nine, but they were 50% off, so you can get 16 for $5. Which I think that's pretty good. And they have a film on them. Are they... That's what I was going to open them in the store. Because I was going to buy them either way. Because I'm going to cover all this, but... Um... Look at my finger. I'm like, what's wrong with my finger? But I got paint underneath it. Okay, yeah, these are clear. So oh, cool. I'm doing some, um, if you're, a, uh, if you're not a member of Patreon, you should be, but, um, I wanted to do, like, a little thank you for being a patron thing for Christmas this year. Uh, okay. Oh, here's more ribbon. This goes with this. I think there's another roll in here, maybe? No? This is a Christmas wreath coconut wax blend. It was $7, so it was like... Y'all. Stop it. Right now. Mm. I love me a good balsam. Like a good, good, good pine balsam. I love a good tree scent. I burn tree candles all year long. Like, like it's the middle of the summer and everybody's like, oh, I got a coconut margarita. And I'm like, I'm, I'm burning a Christmas tree candle. Okay, I got some glitter. Because we always need glitter. And I know y'all are like, wait, doesn't he always use a glitter that doesn't have any iridescence to it? Not today, sis. Not on tonight. These were $3.49. They weren't on sale, which sucks, but whatever. Um, I also saw an ornament while I was at Hobby Lobby, and I said, I love that ornament more than anything. And it wasn't expensive, but it was glass, and I was just like, I can't use that in a wreath. But what I can do is take a picture of that ornament and then figure out how to make it, and it was covered in sprinkles. Well, they actually covered, it was covered in um, seed beads, which nothing, it doesn't piss, sorry, it doesn't upset me. It's just like, oh, those are seed beads. Like, I just think it looks cheap to put seed beads on something and pretend like it's sprinkles, so. I got some packs of these freestyle diamond dots. Um, I don't, I know that these are like for diamond painting. I don't know how many are in here, but I'm assuming like a million. Uh, I got pearl. Wait, does it say what color these are? Oh, shade, shade 8002, 8271, 8098. 
8071 and 8125. Why they didn't have like a baby blue was beyond me. Because these are the kind of um, the kind of colors that were in the ornament. And uh, if you want to see me attempt that, it'll be on Patreon in a couple of weeks, days, who knows. Um, and I got a Christmas present. Y'all, every year I give my mom an ornament. I usually get her a couple, like, just because, um, like, I'm trying to help her build an ornament collection, but not in the way that I did it, where I was just like, I have all this money right now, let me spend every cent of it on Christmas ornaments. I just buy her one, two, three a year, and it's usually something that is specific to her, like, I got her a hamburger, she loves hamburgers, I got her, like, a thing of fries, I got her, like, a, um... I used to get Carl, like, I got him a tractor one year. I got him, like, a KitchenAid mixer. Just the blown glass ornaments. But I was looking through everything today, and I was like, I don't know what to get. And Hobby Lobby's got a lot of ornaments, so there's plenty to pick from. And... What was the one? It was the one I wanted. It was a... I don't, I, I'm still confused as to what it is. Let me pull it up, because I took a picture of it, because I was like, what is this supposed to be? Is this a cultural reference that I don't understand? Let me see. Yeah, um, this is a turtle with a Fabergé egg on its back. Why? I don't know. So I was like, I'm gonna get that. And then I said, you know what? Probably not, because that doesn't make a lot of sense. Um, but we were looking, and I like to get her, like, a food thing sometimes, but... really find it. I was like, uh, I'm like, what did I, I took all these pictures today because I was like, I need to, I need to figure out how to make this. I need to steal this. I need to pretend like I made this myself. So I couldn't find her anything that really spoke to me. So I just got her the most ridiculous thing I could find. Which if somebody can, uh, if somebody can explain to me why you would be like, I need this, I guess if you had a food, th food theme tree, but like, that seems awfully specific, but why? Why is there a broccoli ornament, y'all? Um. I was like, why does this feel plasticky? But I think the end just feels really thick. Uh, wh why? Why a broccoli ornament? I don't understand it. I mean, I'm into it. I love it. I just don't understand it. <laughs> My sister was like, what about the broccoli? And I, I was like, as I was looking at the broccoli, she's like, what about the broccoli? And I was like, what about the broccoli? I just think it's like the most random thing. Um, but she likes broccoli. I mean, broccoli is delicious. It's got the broccoli, the one with the vitamin K. I don't know. Um, oh, crap. I still have it in the bag. Okay. So then we left there. Uh, Hobby Lobby's in one shopping center. We left there. We went to Spirit Halloween. Y'all... Let me tell you right now, I'm about to post these on Instagram just to see who loves me enough to buy them because I could not allow myself to buy them. Look at this Ouija board mug. I loved it. I was so, like, y'all, I don't, I know I always say, like, I don't buy stuff for myself, and I don't. Like, all this, like, pretty much everything on here is for projects. Like, it's not like I bought, yeah, I don't think any of this stuff is, like, I don't buy stuff for myself just because I'd rather spend my money on something that's going to make me more money. I'd rather spend $100 on something that I can turn into $500. Anyway, I saw this mug at Spirit Halloween and I was like, I love it. I absolutely have to have it. It was $15 and I could not do it. I work so hard. I work so hard. I work like 18 hours a day. And I said, no. And then when I went to check out, I found this one. The poison apple, which felt uh, particularly apt considering the poison apple wreath I made this year. And I love the chrome, you know, the oil slick on it. It was also $15 and I could not do it. And then I went to Michael's to look for a uh, spooky mug and I couldn't find one. And I went to TJ Maxx and I went to Kohl's and I couldn't find any. But while I was at Michael's, I had a 40% off coupon, which 
The, I don't know where it came from. I was just like, I thought these were gone, but it's back. I think it was Labor Day, maybe. I don't know. I had a 40% off coupon. And I had a $10 rewards voucher. So I saw this ribbon last year. I said, I really want that ribbon. Oh, oh, watch out, broccoli. I really want this ribbon. I didn't get it because it is, it's $10, which it's not, it's only 25 feet. It's not a terrible price, but I don't know. I just, I just feel, it's something like I feel like conflicted about buying from Michael's when it could be buying from Craft Outlet, but I saw it. They had it out already. They had a little bit of Christmas stuff out. I said, I'm getting it because it was $10 and I already had the $10 voucher, so it was free, but it was 40% off, so it was $6. And then I got some yarn to, again, go with this one because I completely forgot I got that one. And I got this. So these could, any one of these could go together pretty much. So I had 10, I had 16, but this was, this was six. No, that's not, that's a wrong ribbon. This one was six, because I had the 40% off coupon. These were six, so that's 12. Uh, I had a drink, which made it 14, and then I had the $10 off. So I ended up spending $5 about at Michael's. So yeah. That's just some stuff. I mean, nothing terribly... There's a lot of reef stuff in here. There's a lot of stuff that will show up on Patreon. I need to make sure. So, you know what's going to happen? I'm going to put this in here and be like, oh, that's nice. And then I'm going to pick this up and be like, there's nothing in here and throw the whole thing away. So I think I'm going to... I feel like wrapping presents. Like, I'm kind of in a crappy mood, but I feel like if I wrap some presents, maybe I'll feel better. And I do have some stuff to wrap, and there's stuff I need to wrap before my sister comes over here again, because, you know, so I might just sit down and record and do something. But, yeah, that's just some stuff I got today. I just needed a little, a little therapy. <sighs> Still not a lot of Halloween at Hobby Lobby. Oh, wait. How could I forget this? Yo, you know my house is smelling fun. This has nothing to do with this. You know my house is smelling weird after it being all closed up and steamy and everything? I just passed like through the kitchen and I was like, my house smells nice. It took over a week, but my house smells nice. When I was at Walmart, can y'all see this? I saw this. I just said I don't buy things for myself. I saw this on like someone's video and I was like, I'm never gonna find that. So I saw it and y'all, my knees buckled. My knees buckled and I was like, <gasps> just like, <gasps> I don't like that his eyes are green. I don't like that he has lights in him at all, but I also don't like whatever this is on his cheek. But they had this one, they had a ghost, which was really cute, but they were $14. No, they were, thir excuse me, they were $13. And I was like, I can't spend $26 on a these blow molds, but y'all, he's, it's not the best paint job, but God bless the woman in China who painted this. Yep, made in China. Um, but y'all know I love vintage. Isn't that so cute? Put your eyes back on. They had a zombie, it said, the, um, they had a little tag that said the zombie too, but they didn't have the zombie. I saw the ghost, I saw this one. I put both of them in a the basket and then I said, nope. And this one, um, if you do get one of these, just check the check the paint job because um, it could be better. I might actually repaint this. Just because, see, like, all right here, it's kind of sloppy. I wouldn't repaint it a different color. I repainted it the same color, but just, you know. So, yeah, that's my haul. That's my haul of all the stuff I got. Ribbon and mesh and more ribbon and these things and glitter and vinyl and of course I bought all this vinyl got in the car checked to see the time and I had an email saying that my shipping was updated and that it would be my all the I ordered like $60 worth of vinyl it was I think it's like 16 rolls um it was like your vinyl your order will be arriving tomorrow and I was like of course it will Ugh. all right so you guys stay safe stay cool um yeah and you'll be seeing all this in the coming days. I think I'm just gonna, I'm gonna edit this whenever I take it off my car and just throw it up as a bonus video. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys, wait, turn your eyes back on. I'll see you guys later.
Maybe I do like the eyes. I don't know. All right, guys.